Hello everyone. Uh, now, once after understanding what analytics is and why it is needed, uh, let's make ourselves familiar with the R programming. Uh, the syntax is very similar to uh, if you have done other programming languages applications. This would be very similar to one of those. And not just that, uh, if, if a person is coming from non-IT background and if the uh, person does not have any programming background, even that's fine. Uh, one can easily manage R programming. It is not uh, similar to the traditional programming languages like uh, Java, .NET, etc., which are uh, purely for application development. Uh, this is a, a programming environment where uh, you'll be writing a small uh, code, a small syntax, and that's going to do analysis and uh, perform analytics for you. So, basically, in case if you want to understand how how we program in our environment, so uh, understand, yeah, understand uh, certain basic concepts like uh, you must have seen, uh, like if you are from IT background, you must have seen in other programming languages, we use, we can use certain operators. Uh, for example, we use equal to operator to assign something to a variable. Even in R the approach is same, we can use is equal to sign or we can use less than and a hyphen sign to assign a value to a variable. For example, uh, say you have created a variable x and you want to assign a value, uh, let's say 10 to it, you can simply say x is equal to 6 or you can say x and then uh, less than sign hyphen and then followed by the value that you want to assign to that variable. So like other programming uh, languages and environments, even R supports all uh, conventional operators, all uh, traditional operators like plus, minus, multiplication, division, modulus. It supports the relational operators like less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to. It supports logical operators like and, or, not. And uh, special type operators which are particularly uh, designed for a particular language. So, R is like any other programming environment. Uh, the advantage which one gets in R, uh, most of the functions, most of the business logic are predefined. You simply need to call that business logic and get your work done. The moment you enter in R environment, you'll see a R prompt, which is a, a greater than sign, where you can add your inputs and you can expect the environment to process your inputs and give you the appropriate output. For example, if we say 3 plus 5, okay, you can expect an output as 8. One can use the built-in functions which are available in R. Uh, almost all functions that you must have seen elsewhere, uh, even if you are not familiar with programming languages, you must have used, you must have seen certain functions in Excel-like tools. For example, functions like sum, count, max, min, uh, these functions we have seen, we have covered in Excel also. So all these functions along with many other functions are supported by this R environment. So here we have functions like log, exponential, uh, we have square root, we have factorial, floor, seal, trunk, round, etc. So you just need to call the functions, pass an appropriate input and R is going to process that input and give you the appropriate result. In case if you make a, a syntactical mistake, uh, R prompt will warn you immediately. It will throw you a error message for that particular error that you have committed. And that error message would be very meaningful. So one can simply read that error message and the person will come to know what error he has committed and uh, the, that error can be rectified. So you can use all these operators and functions that we have seen in uh, uh, previous slides. Uh, for example, uh, the arith arithmetic operators that we have covered like uh, plus, minus, multiplication, division. One can try out these operators at R prompt and see how quickly, SAS, um, how quickly R can process those results. So these are the predefined functions which have been embedded within our environment. You just need to uh, find out the appropriate signature for these functions and pass the appropriate input and expect some results uh, produced by those functions. 
Now, like other programming environments and applications, even R supports certain data types. So in R, one can declare variables of character type or numeric type, or you can have an array variable declared. In arrays, you have various subtypes, like what you can create a vector, you can create a, a scalar variable, you can have a matrix define. All these things are possible in uh, uh, R. You just need to follow the appropriate syntax to declare all these objects and make use of those objects in your uh, analytical process.